What's up guys? So today we're continuing with our 4140 part here and we came in and we finished our counter sinks using a full five axis swarf tool path. Now something to take note of is that we have a huge machine here that's super powerful but it's also super fast and super accurate. A combination of the Kessler spindle, the Heidenheim control, the Heidenheim drives and scales give us a really nice smooth motion and the rigidity of the Abarmi it just adds to the beauty that we're going to get on this surface finish. Now this is one of the simplest five axis tool paths to use. Basically all you need is a ruled surface and an upper and a lower rail. Now, there's a lot of other options in this tool path that we're not going to be using but one of the options that we will be using is floor geometry and this is going to keep the nose radius of the tool from digging into the floor of this countersink. When we take a look at the swarf machining parameters we can take a look at what geometry we have selected as our swarf surface and that's going to be this surface right here. Our floor geometry is again going to be the floor of the countersink. For our guide curves our upper rail is going to be the top curve of our countersink and our lower rail is going to be the bottom curve. Now as far as planes go we don't have to do anything special here. We're going to use our top plane for our construction and our tool plane just like you would any normal three axis operation and Mastercam is going to come in and it's going to figure out how to set our tool axis. So looking at the machining on this part we're using a surface footage of 650 surface feet. So for this operation we're going to be running at 50 inches a minute and that's going to really help highlight how good this machine is at processing a lot of code fast. We're going to be running at 650 surface feet and a couple other options to take a look at in this tool path are going to be our surface quality which we have set at 2 tenths and then in addition to that we're going to be setting our cycle 32 for the Heidenheim control at 6 tenths. So I mentioned that we're going to be doing a roughing and then a semi finish pass. So you can find that in multi cuts. So what I have here is two layers that we're taking 20 thou per pass. Now we have 50 thou stock left on that surface so essentially the first pass is going to take 30, the second pass is going to take 20 and then on cut pattern you can see that I'm leaving 2 thou from that finished surface. When we come back in for our finishing we're going to cut our surface footage and our feed rate significantly so we're going from 650 surface foot to 245 and then we're cutting our feed rate from 50 all the way down to 3. This is going to guarantee that we get a good surface finish on our part. Now you can see here we have four independent swarf machining tool paths. The way that our post is set up is after any spindle orientation change our Z axis is going to home itself and our Y axis is going to home itself. So we've used Mastercam's multi axis linking tool path to tie all four of these together. That way the machine doesn't home itself after every tool path. You can see that this has given us a good clean linking motion. The machine's not going all the way home and all these tool paths are now tied together. So you can see here that we have full five axis synchronous motion. Our C axis and tombstone are rotating and our head is tilting up and down. Now when you're doing swarf machining it's important that you have an actual ruled surface. So we can come in here in SolidWorks and throw some face curves on that surface and you can see right away that it is ruled. So this is a really cool part. We're going to be going over a whole lot of different strategies as we bring this part to completion and so far the Abarmi has done really well at handling everything we've thrown at it. So I hope you guys liked today's video. Please like and subscribe. Visit our online academy and our online store and I'll talk to you guys again next time.